Hello, this is Ryan Ellibrock with the product support team here at Channel Mix. Today, I'm going to talk about an exciting new feature for the Redesign Connect page. We are going to talk about connecting to a new data source that does not have an external authorization system. Previously with this, when you would click on, let's say, Bright Edge as an example, if you wanted to add this connection, it would open up a window that said, please submit a Zendesk ticket to your client solutions rep. Once the Zendesk ticket was open, typically what would happen in these situations is the information that was needed was exchanged via email or via the Zendesk ticket. Now you can input this information directly into the Channel Mix ecosystem. So let's click on Bright Edge. When we click on this, it will open up this pop-up window that says add new connection. We can give the connection a name. Let's call this Ryan's Bright Edge login. And for Bright Edge, the information that is required is a username and password. You will notice next to these fields, there is a little question mark with a circle around it. In this case, for Bright Edge, the username is typically an email address, and that username needs to have API access. And then the password is the password for the entered username. So you would enter your information here. and then any possible notes you wanted to add to this. Let's just put a timestamp of entered on 10-10-2017. One other option that we have here on the Add New Connection screen is this click box for share connection details with Alight Analytics. If you hover over the question mark, it will explain to you that clicking this box will allow Alight Analytics employees to see the hidden values on this connection this should only be used in the special circumstance that we need access to the services web interface or for debugging. In this example, as you can see, the password is hidden. Um, if you did in fact click this share connection option with it, we would have very easy access to what the password actually was 99% of the time. This is not something that we need. And then we would click save. And now we get this pop-up window, select channel mix profile that we want to associate with this new connection. So in this case, we will just select alpha brands. Once we select alpha brands, it will take us to this window for edit profile. Uh, and we need to enter in the accounts ID. Again, this has a question mark as well. If you're unsure about what exactly needs to go here. Uh, so we will enter in the account ID. Let's say we already know that it is 454544. We will hit save, and now we have successfully connected to Bright Edge and associated our Alpha Brand accounts. At this point, you would need to open a Zendesk ticket with our product support team, letting them know that you've set up this connection and you would like to pull data for this profile. This has been an overview on how to connect to our various different data sources that don't have external authentication. If you have any further questions, please contact your client solutions representative or the product support team. Thank you and have a nice day.